Hello, I'm Brian Nielsen, owner and horologist for Pocketful of Time. Today we're going to show you how to set up your antique clock. We're going to do the setup, the winding, and set the time and adjust for timekeeping your antique clock. Always remove the pendulum before transporting the clock to prevent damage to the pendulum. This can get it out of beat and make it to where it won't run. Let me show you how to properly move one around. You move it around very slowly. Let's look at what the pendulum actually is. On an old clock like this, this is your pendulum. It's a little weight and it causes the clock to tick using the energy off the springs. You want to wind the clock once a week with a smooth motion. Never let the key snap back in your hand and always release it gently every half turn. When you're winding a clock that has been running for a while, you can expect one, approximately one full turn for every day that the clock ran. I'm not really sure how long this clock ran. Uh, since its last winding, but we're going to show you how to do that. What you're winding up is, a, is a, two main springs. The main spring in a clock, this is the, actually the sp uh, a spring that came out of this clock that I replaced. When this spring is completely wound up, it has the, it, it goes down to about the size of a ping pong ball. It'll be about that big around. So there's a lot of spring tension in these two springs. You don't have to worry about it. It's not going to come flying apart on you unless there is something major wrong with your clock. But we're going to show you the safe way to wind the clock. Here's your key. Alright, now we've got the key in place and we're going to wind the clock. Gently but forcefully turn the key. And this is what I was talking about. Don't let it snap back. Wind, gently release. Wind, gently release. And you keep doing that until you feel the spring will no longer turn. Do this with both sides. One spring is causing the clock to tick or keep time. The other spring is for the striking mechanism. Now we're going to show you how to set the time on your clock. When setting the time, move the minute hand, pausing at the hour and the half hour for the clock to strike. Never move the hands counterclockwise past the 6 or the 12. What I mean by that is when you're setting the time, right now it's about 7 after 10. So we move this, you, you heard it ding, okay. At 6 here, don't move back. Now you can come here to 7 or 8 and you can move the clock back, but don't go past the 6. Then come up to the hour position. Let the clock do its striking. Make sure that it, if it's on nine, it's going to strike nine times. After it's through striking, pass the six, come to the ten. And then go ahead and set your time. Now, how do you get the clock to start ticking? There's two ways to do it. If you don't feel comfortable opening up the back and starting the pendulum strike uh, ticking, this is a method that a lot of people use. Simply pick up one corner of the clock about two, two and a half inches, and then bring it back down and that will start your clock ticking. If you're not comfortable doing that, but you are comfortable opening up the back and getting and 
starting the pendulum by hand. All you need to do is just reach inside, give it a little push, and then the clock will start ticking. This type of clock will keep time within two or four minutes a week. You will need to do a final regulation once the clock is in a permanent location. You're not going to get modern, accurate quartz time out of these clocks, but they're going to be good uh, timekeeping pieces. If, if your clock is off, it can be made to go faster or slower by means of the small square on the dial. Using the small end of your winding key, this, this small end right here, after your clock has run for a couple of days, you want to do this adjustment. If you notice that it's, if it's losing a minute a day or gaining a minute a day, this is or somewhere in that area, this is what you can do. You put the small end of the key into the small square on your clock, and then at that time, if it's running fast or slow, let's say it's running slow. It's running slow, so you're going to want to adjust the clock and you make small adjustments. If this was the hand, if this key was a, actually a hand of the clock, you would turn it towards the F for fast about five minutes. Let me, let's get a closer look. One. Put the small end of the key into the little square and turn it about, oh, five minutes worth. And then reset the time, check it after a day, see if it's keeping better time. You make small little increments with this square, whichever direction it shows, fast or slow. If you're losing time, make it go a little faster. If you're gaining time, make it go a little slower. If you let your clock run seven days, after about the fifth or sixth day, you're going to notice that the clock is going to start running a little slower. This is quite natural for these types of clocks. If you don't have the pendulum enclosed in the back, like this mantel clock does, but have the pendulum in front, and if you don't have the square, you adjust the time on the clock on the same way on the pendulum using the pendulum nut. Let me show you. This kitchen clock has a pendulum nut and this is how you regulate the time on it. You wind these the same, you set them up the same, you take as much care with these as you would with the mantel clock. But the front opens up. Here's the pendulum for this clock. At the very bottom you have a pendulum nut. Turning it clockwise will raise the pendulum causing the clock to go faster. Turning it counterclockwise will lower the pendulum making it go slower. Same rule of thought with this as, as with your mant this mantle clock. Give it about, if it's gaining or losing a minute a day, give it a half turn. Then after that to to set it in every day when you're trying to regulate out your clock, give it a quarter turn. Let me show you. Let me show you the best way to, to set this pendulum. Okay, the pendulum is back in the clock. Take it with one hand, gently support it. And at the bottom, this nut turns very easily. And at the bottom, give it about a half turn. And then, restart your clock. Just give your pendulum just a little bit of a tap until you start hearing a tick. At that time, give it about a day, day and a half. See how much time you're gaining or losing. And make your small adjustments after that. I hope this